Hey everyone, welcome back to How Stuff in My Car Works. This is Jade, and today we're going to be talking about how the EVAP uh, system works. The parts we're going to be using, the fuel cap, fuel tank, the canister. To be more specific, it could also be called the evaporative emissions canister, but it could also be called two other names, the fuel vapor canister or the charcoal canister. So next is the purge control valve, which is controlled by the ECM. And last is the throttle body. So the fuel tank stores the fuel, and the vapors are generated in here. The fuel cap is basically the seal for the fuel, which prevents vapors to uh, go into the air, so it's eco-friendly. And also, it doesn't pollute. Next is the canister, which actually absorbs the fuel vapors. And then the purge valve routes the vapor to get burned. So when you're at the gas station, um, we pretty much are refilling your tank. Basically, take off the cap, start pumping that gas into your car, and then putting back the cap on. Next, I'm going to be explaining how the vapor forms. I hope everyone knows what this is. But I'm going to be using this in the video to explain how the fuel tank works. If you haven't noticed, if you put gas into this, if the temperature gets hot, it actually expands. But if it gets cold, it goes back to its normal size. This is how it works with the fuel tank. Just, it's covered up more. So after that, the vapor goes through the vent and gets sent down to the canister. The reason why it can also be considered the charcoal canister is because there's actually charcoal on the bottom which absorbs the vapor. As we transition, the purge control valve is actually controlled by the ECM. So the purge control valve is closed. It won't be open until the engine starts and at some point when your car is running or when you're moving to your destination, the purge valve will open because of the computer telling it to, which is different for every car. As it starts to open, the vapor gets set down here. And so the vacuum is what's going to draw the vapors into the engine, where it starts burning so it doesn't pollute the air. And basically that's a whole routine over and over again. It's a cycle that the car does. It's why it's called the EVAP system. So another cool thing about the EVAP system is it's saving you a lot of money and it also doesn't pollute the air. For example, if you actually left your cap off of your car, which some people do, okay, you would probably be losing a lot of gas uh, in your car. Other than that, now you know what the EVAP system is and if you like that, if you want to express it, go share it with someone. So every day is a new day. And every day I strive to be the better me. But today my goal was to explain the EVAP system with you all. I hope everyone would have the confidence, the courage to share this video or explain this concept because it is important to understand because it's our transportation. So if you found this important, make sure you tune in for next time. I will be teaching you something new. Please enjoy your day. Bye.